Back in 97 at the Smash Hits Award, I won Best Haircut, which I thought, I mean, oh. I reckon you'd win that one now Thank these you. days. I told you I'm going to bring in some individuals. You I told did. you. They smell lovely, don't they? There's something about it. There's a, there's, a, there's a, I don't know what it is in the air, but please welcome an individual who is, I'm going to say this, the greatest golfer of all time. I wouldn't call me that now. Like uh, just a, <laughs> Wait, um, wait, not you. Not, not, I think there's better. Not, I think there's... I think there's not, <laughs> not yet. The greatest golfer I'm not of all golfer. time. 165 tournaments. 166. 166. <laughs> 167. I don't know if you're going to one-up me. Uh, and, and an individual who... And who, an individual. Uh, who, who, who dons a beautiful, beautiful head of hair. Gorgeous man as well. Good-looking. Uh, and really, just I can tell you that he knows all about hole in ones, but there's one place where he doesn't have a hole, and that is in his heart. <laughs> Am I doing well here, Ron? I, I, I tell Thank you, you, I'm impressed. Thank you so there's much. There's many different holes you could have gone down there, but you didn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very happy about it. <laughs> Please welcome Mr. Gary Player. Mr. Hey! Yes. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed, Carl. Thank you. It is great to have you here. And then, of course, you've you've brought along a plus one. Uh, yeah. some, somebody who is okay are you ready for this oh, I'm, I'm excited after that intro for Gar I'm very excited oh, about mine okay <laughs> well stand by for somebody who sings it's no I'm kidding there's a lot more to it okay so gentlemen that you know from uh, back in the day Boy Zone somebody who went out on his own had a multiple number of hits in fact I'm just guessing here I think that Life is a Roller Coaster hit like 4.4 million at a stage as well which is absolutely incredible I do remember that this individual is a talented golfer as well as just a talented individual when it comes so to sure. radio and acting he's got it under wraps he is a quadruple threat his name Ronan Keating it's ladies Blair. and gentlemen yes <laughs> thank you very much <laughs> thank you very much lovely to be here it's so good well I mean, you, you. you're in a comfortable space aren't you yeah yeah I mean this is home for me being in a radio station I've been doing breakfast radio for the last four years in London on Magic Magic Radio. Um, golf is not a comfortable space um, <laughs> at all. I wouldn't call that comfortable. But it's, it's somewhere I enjoy um, and a great way to clear the head. And it's a great honor for me once again to team up with Mr. Player um, at our event here. Thanks to Citadel. We're in Cape Town for our fourth event. It's our fourth event. Um, sadly, we haven't, we haven't been able to do it for the last two years yeah. uh, for obvious reasons. Um, but it's great to be Oh man, honestly, I got emotional this morning when we landed. We landed at Cape Town Airport and we, we drove over the hill. And I, I had a lump in my throat. I was emotional. It's been so long and I miss this place so much. And it's the people when you arrive and the hugs they give you and the handshakes and the, the warmth and... Oh, it's just gorgeous. And then you see the beach and the water yep. and the <laughs> yes, mountain. Right. It's just, it's another level. And then you see Mr. Player and then and it's then, Yeah, and then I thought, why am I here exactly? I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember, why am I here? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Player, it's an absolute honor. Uh, one of the, the interviews that I've always wanted to have with you because your career spans, you know, decades. But more importantly, I think that it's your heart that really shows every single turn. You know, I, I know that you could have, you know, commanded so many different things in your life, but all you wanted to do is give back, and that is a virtue. So mm -hmm. I, I just think it's an honor um, just to chat to you, just to have you in the studio. And I'd love to know about your cause because it's been happening for a while. COVID knocked it a bit, but now we have an opportunity to actually raise some funds for some very, very good causes. Tell me a bit mm -hmm. more about how you put this thing together and how you are trying to raise mm -hmm. funds for what is gonna be a fantastic cause for everybody. You know, Carl, uh, golf is an incredible catalyst. Uh, I got honors at all sports at, at school and high school and all other sports which I adore, but it's play and away. 30 years of age, you basically leave, you yeah. can hardly walk in a lot of other sports. Golf is play and stay. I'm 86 here, I'm still shooting par golf, still <laughs> working like I was 20 years of age. I'm going to India next week. And the following week, America, the following week to London for a day, then back, still active. And when you grow up like I did, suffering like a junkyard dog, you know, really suffered, and then yeah. you suddenly make it. You know, your great desire and your knowledge that you know what it's like to suffer, you obviously, it's just an automatic thing that we have a debt yeah. to society to do something and raise money. And the golfers have been fantastic. Hospitals they've built. Uh, we've built aid centers in China. We've wow. 
raised tens of millions of dollars around the world, every country in the world, and through golf, you're able to do it. I, I tell you a fascinating story. I had a young man who came out here. He was very lonely from America, and he worked for me at Sun City as a pro, probably making in those days, you know, 100, 200 pounds a month, not much at all. Yeah. Anyway, the other day, he phones up my, we have a Vivian and Gary, or named after my wife, foundation which we've just started. My daughter who runs it says, do you know he just gave $500,000? Wow. Can what? you believe? And he was a young man making hardly money. But he went back and he made a lot of money. And he said, your mom and dad were my parents for years there. Mm. So, you know, it's, it's wonderful the way people want to help others. And this, we have to do that. We have to do that in life. Definitely. And that is, that's what attracts people from all over the world to this cause because we, we know your philanthropy mm -hmm. it knows no bounds. And, and mm -hmm. that's just why you can bring Ronan Keating out here yeah. and a gentleman who can get off a plane and skip his own birthday for you. Well, I he's such a lovely man. <laughs> he's uh, <laughs> not only a good singer and a good golfer. I'm not a good golfer. <laughs> he, <Thanks>. he's, a, <laughs> he's, a, he's a very good man and his whole family and he's got uh, a nephew. You know, there's so many different titles with families now. But yeah. He's a, a nephew that can really play well at university. And I, mm. he came from Chicago the other day when I was uh, in America and he brought his friends down and we all had a wonderful game together. Wow. So, you know, when I think what golf has done for me to travel more miles than any human being ever, play in front of more people live than almost anybody ever, and to appear on television almost more than anybody ever, over 75 years, what a blessing. So the word is gratitude, huh? Indeed. Always oh, yeah. gratitude. gratitude. And I've, I've been hearing Mr. Player Ronan saying mm. that he sees a lot of connection with you. And besides good looks being a connection, yeah. what else do you guys totally. have in... in uh, golf swing, very similar. <laughs> uh, <laughs> now, I, you know what? I met Gary. I was lucky enough to meet Gary. I think it must be near 20 years ago now yes. we met. I think it was at Sun City at Gary's event. I played at the Pro-Am. And I've been a big, big fan of golf for since I was about 12, 13 years of age. My brothers went to New York out of Ireland. They emigrated. There was no jobs in Ireland. They went over. They became caddies in golf courses in New York. And they brought the game back to me because we, we were a working class family. Golf was not yeah. in our household. We played GAA football because, you know, that's, the, that's, that's an Irish family. So we did. Couldn't afford golf clubs or play golf. My brothers went to New York. They brought the game back and they brought back sticks. And I started playing, started you know, chipping and putting in the back garden. And then I started playing. Then I joined a band. It all went crazy. I could afford a set of golf clubs. <laughs> and I started playing. And I played every day. I brought my clubs with me around the world, played all the time. And I was lucky enough to meet Gary Player. And I just, you know, forget about golf. Like, he is, firstly, in South Africa, this man is, it's, he's the big deal. He's, yeah. he's the real deal. Legend, superstar. But in the golfing world, he's even bigger than that. I mean, there's the big three. You've got Ar Arnold Palmer, as we know. Yeah. Uh, um, Jack and Gary. They're the three. They're the big guys. The big dogs. And for me to even be on his radar that he knows who I am is crazy. <laughs> but to, for us to both be able to have this charity event together here in South Africa, um, raising money for the two charities that we do it for together, um, to be able to call him a friend, to have his number on my phone, is such an honour. And, <laughs> and to, to allow me... You know, to come down here to this incredible country, to this beautiful town, and uh, to put this event on is is ridiculous. So I'm in awe. I will do whatever it takes. And so I'm here. Uh, I'm going, we're going to we're we've got the event tomorrow. I'm going to sing a few songs tomorrow night. I th I'm pretty sure we're sold out. Are we sold out now? We're sold out now. Yeah. So we've sadly, no tickets left. But it's going to be unbelievable. I can't wait to be back singing live again. Uh, to be performing what what we've all been through the last two years. There's been no live music, no live events. Mm. Um, it's it's just it's going to be such a celebration tomorrow night. I can't wait to be here. We want to be best mates in the world. So delighted. I Absolutely am. Delighted. I, I'm excited too because uh, apparently I'm on the guest list. <coughs> oh, right, hang so. on. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> <laughs> Mark. Oh, thank you. Gee, I see that all the PR people is like, no, 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 no. It's, no, we, no, no, we don't have. List is I, I got you. But it's it's the cause that's really beautiful over here, and mm -hmm. I know that uh, Mr. Player, you have a school in Johannesburg that you are supporting, as well as the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospitals Oncology Unit, which is powerful. But let's go to the school for a second. Apparently, this is a passion project that has been something so close to you that you're also raising funds for? We have a school uh, at Blair Athol where I used to live. Yes. And uh, we have a whole, I'm sorry you use the word black and colors nowadays, but they are for young black children yeah. who uh, 
A lot of them have been abused, a lot of them haven't been, and the teachers, the dedication they have, and to be able to change their lives, it's such a thrill, I tell you. And then, of course, uh, so many of my family, as Ronan, so many of my family have died from cancer. My mother, my wife, my sister, yeah. my niece. I mean, it's just been one after the other. Yeah. And, you know, I don't believe in legacies. If you take the greatest man that lived in my time as Winston Churchill. and But if you go to universities around the world, 30% of the people remember him. You, you, I think you can see it if you think people are going to remember you. But you've got to do something now at the time. You owe it to society to contribute now. Don't worry about a uh, legacy because unless you die and you get the hell out of here. Yeah. So it's so wonderful to see people like Ronan, Citadel, all these different companies that are doing things for people now, isn't it? It is indeed. And I'm it's loving so the fact that this, you know, what, what this collateral beauty, as I call it, has happened over the past two years is that the world has become a little closer. Yeah. and a little bit more generous. And that's what I'd like to focus on. And this is why it is an honor to see you two in studio, but also here in Cape Town doing such a great piece of work for oncology, as well as for your school as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's it's absolute magic. Mm -hmm. Excuse the pun, Ron. No, sorry. Uh, but yeah, there it, it's just, it's going to be great. And I, I cannot wait to, to find a way to the guest list tomorrow, but more importantly, <laughs> um, just to continue supporting this from you guys, uh, it really is. So Mr. Well, Player you. and Ronan, I am absolutely in awe of your work. We'll keep on supporting it and keep on putting a highlight and a spotlight Thank on you. it as well. Uh, but I do need you to stick around if you don't mind for the next couple of minutes. Uh, I do have something very special. Zoe Brown, who's alongside you there, she would like to learn how to putt. But I, I said to her... Wouldn't we all? I, I said to her that I wouldn't let her, let her go without you giving her a little bit of a putting lesson that would bring us to a little thing that I'd like to call putting you on the spot, which is uh, a couple of questions from just the, the general audience that would inspire some things that you wouldn't find on the internet or, or Wikipedia. Oh, that's a bit worrying, isn't it? It's, it's going to be very <laughs> worrying, but it's going to be fun. Stick around. This is The Flash Drive. It is KFM 94.5 with Mr. Gary Player as well as Ronan Keating. And don't forget the newly putting Zoe Brown. Zoe is about to get a putting lesson, but the putting lesson has a difference. It's called putting you on the spot. This is for Ronan as well as Mr. Gary Player. Uh, and I'm here and I'm watching, <laughs> learning. So this is how it's going to go. I am going to need Zoe to putt into one of a uh, few of these questions. She will get the direction from Mr. Gary Player. Thereafter, there'll be questions that I'll need to pose to these two gentlemen. If you get the wild card and you've posed one on the WhatsApp line, you could get yourself some tickets to Huawei K-Day tomorrow. So let's go for it. So Zoe's about to get the lesson. And here we go. Just swing your hands like a pendulum. That's right. Just like a pendulum and a clock. You know, just swing them back. That's it. And follow through all the way through. Yes, I'm gonna go. Yeah, go on there. Excellent! Oh, Look at oh that. yes, this is, is that the first time you've ever putted? This is the gr yeah. this is great. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, we've got our first question that you've. Okay, this question is actually to you, Mr. Player. If you could challenge any celebrity at a round of golf, who would it be? Uh, well, you mean in politics or anything? Anybody? Winston Churchill. Oh. Winston Churchill. Oh. Winston who Churchill. would win? You know, he was such an incredible leader, and if it wasn't for he and uh, Roosevelt, we wouldn't be standing here today. We wouldn't have won the war. So he would have won. He would have won. Okay, lovely stuff. Winston Churchill. Woo! Oh. All right, next part over here. No Zoe, how are we feeling? No pressure. It's a lot of pressure. Oh. Nice pendulum. Right? Pendulum, nice eh? Pendulum. pendulum. Yeah, and all the way. Look, oh. excellent. Hey, just the one on the left. <laughs> <laughs> chick can play, boy. Eh? All right, the next question goes to Mr. Keating. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Question is, besides your own music, yeah. if I had to take you to a karaoke, <laughs> which song would you sing? Ooh, it'd be a George Michael song. Yeah, George Michael. Faith. Oh. Faith. Yeah, Faith, George Michael. Yeah, he's a uh, yeah, musical hero. Absolutely yeah. incredible. I love the Bee Gees. When they sang, oh, I love the Bee Gees. Saturday Night Fever. Oh, yeah. Man, I'd but I that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> no, that Can you sing that high, body. Gary? Really, that keeps my body moving. <laughs> 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 Watch this. High in my hey, oh, yeah. <laughs> See that? that you gotta keep that. No, you, you keep people. Let me tell you. You don't realize the influence you have. How you fill people. They're crying for with the pressure of the world. You're filling them with joy. Huh. Am I right? I completely agree. Thank and you. I, I can tell that Zoe is filling Mr. Play with joy. Yeah. Because yeah. if you look She's at the pendulum, well. it, yeah. this is this is great. So let's she's gonna have another part over here. Let's let's discuss a form. Look at this. Oh, oh that almost. Oh, yes, no, no, it's the other thing moved, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Bring it back over here. We got our next question. Here we go. Keep going. 
There you go. Oh, She's lovely. got it. I did touch. I touched one of these. I saw it. Let's see what the question is under here. Oh, another one for Ronan. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah. If your former group wasn't called Boyzone, what would it have been called? Well, we were called Manzone in the last few years <laughs> because um, <laughs> we, we were too old to be called Boyzone. <laughs> Um, our eldest member's 50 this year, so wow. yeah, yeah, I guess man zone. Man zone. Yeah, that's all. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> well answered, yeah. to be honest with you. Okay, let's check the last question. Look at this. Oh, oh my goodness. On a roll. What a nice putting stroke, eh? Was <laughs> it? This is, this is great. Ooh, okay. Turns out that we have a wild card, which means that this is coming from our. Lovely audience. And let me go over here to make sure that we get this wild card out there. And this particular question. All right. Here we go. So the question is as follows. Allow me to take a peek over here to get it for you. Mm -hmm. And here we go. So um, there was a <laughs> so this question came from who, well, this person's now the winner of Huawei K-Day tickets. So here it goes. Two questions for the guests for both. Name the song that instantly lifts your mood. And then there's one to Gary Player. And that is, did you watch the movie Happy Gilmore? <laughs> Let's start off with uh, Ronan, a song that instantly yeah. lifts your mood. Uh, instantly lifts my mood. Um, uh, Black Eyed Peas. I, I got a feeling. Great one. Instantly. Straight away. That's, that's it's a just, hit. Yeah. You missed the player? Well, yes, I did watch Happy Gilmore. And I believe one of the secrets to longevity, which I work on every day, is to laugh and be happy. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good title, Happy Gilmore. <laughs> yeah. Look at go. that. You see, on a roll. <laughs> A day without laughing is a day wasted, you know? <laughs> there are so many bits of wisdom of you. I feel like, okay, one last one shot more. before we let these Which two good-looking gentlemen go. Oh, excuse me, now you're going to go for it. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll, we'll, we're we'll, we're going to go for those two there, the two together. There we go. Okay, so the two on the end. So straight through the middle. That's fine. But we'll, <laughs> we'll pretend that you hit one of these. Let's go for it. I'm going to say that one there. And the last one over here. This is the flash drive. It is KFM 94.5. Uh, here we go. <laughs> I'm sorry about this. I told uh, you they're going right. to get quite... So in 2003, Ronan, yeah. oh, uh, you got the Rear of the Year Award. Well, yeah. There you are. What, not, other, <laughs> what other awards have made you proud? Um, <laughs> well, I'm up there with you. Back in back in 97 at the Smash Hits Award, I won Best Haircut, which I thought, I mean, oh. I reckon you'd win that one now Thank these you. days. I mean, absolutely. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you um, so much. That, that was pretty... That was, yeah, one of my yeah best haircut. Um, rear of the year, spectacle, spectacle wearer of the year, but I just spectacle of the year. I um, <laughs> called myself. That was a pretty good award. Too. I you love know. that. Yeah. yeah. Ronan, thank you so much for being a great sport. Thank, and thank and to you, you uh, Mr. Player, as well. Thank you for, for being here and sharing your wisdom. And I think when it comes to wisdom, I'd, I'd love us to end off not only by just reiterating that the title has brought to the two of you here for a very good cause, yeah. the fact that we're trying to raise funds for the Red Cross War Memorial Children's Hospital, yeah. and, of course, for your school up in Joburg, which is something that is so powerful. But if there's one lesson, Mr. Player, that you have learned that has kind of taken you through beyond – what you said about happiness, what would that lesson be if you could impart that during your illustrious and, and, and very, very powerful career? Well, everybody's faced with adversity in their lives. Stress. I don't worry about stress because you can't go through life without stress. It's how you handle it. But I think the most important thing is, is to have gratitude in your life. Just realize how lucky you are. Just think for a minute what's happening as we stand here now in Ukraine. Killing women and children, and in this day and age, with all the wars that have taken place, and you can have Africa and China and people sort of behind it and not condemning them, for me, it's just the saddest thing. You can't live with wars anymore, man. It's just so sad. So gratitude comes to my heart and faith. Whatever your faith is, have some faith to give you strength and get you through the difficulties. Mr. Player, thank you so much. That was absolutely incredible. And to Ronan Keating, thank all you. the best with the, Thanks the golf. Mil. Thanks a lot. Thank you to everybody who made it happen. Andrew Muller, all the team at Citadel, um, and, and Gary, you know, for, for, you know, doing this again with me another year. I'm really honored, pal. Looking forward to tomorrow. Thank you thank so you. much, gents. That is absolutely incredible. Ronan Keating Thanks, and Mr. Gary Player, a big round of applause for them. They are amazing. Thanks, guys. And to Zoe for amazing. Thank you, Zoe. But it's the Flash Drive, K from 94.5. The show that drives you home with the most music. The Flash Drive with Carl Wasty. Only on KFM 94.5.